Hey, me again. <laughs> I just, I've got so much that God's doing. You know, I, I kept telling y'all that um, I had the song, You make me brave. You make me brave. I couldn't remember the song. So, um, I, I just looked it up and I thought I would uh, put it into a video in case y'all wanted to sing along with this song. It's a song that I, I've sung at church, not in my new church, but at my old church. And um, it has, it, it really fits with where I was in the scriptures with um, Hope for Restoration, Isaiah 35. <clears throat> um, there the Lord will display His glory, the splendor of our God. With this news, strengthen those who have tired hands and encourage those who have weak knees. Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong and do not fear, for your God is coming to destroy your enemies. He is coming to save you. Um, and then it goes on, those who cannot speak will sing for joy. So I was looking, um, you know, do, do a, I don't know if y'all have the Holy Spirit lead you like this, but I used to have the Holy Spirit, He would just wake me up in the middle of the night and give me one word. And uh, and I would search all the scriptures for that word. So when I started watching this song um, on YouTube, I uh, thought, oh, how many times is the word save in the Bible? How many times is the word rescue in the Bible? Um, you know, this is not our home. We are wanting to go home and we're waiting to be rescued from this world. Oh, look, 144, 144 after I had the redeemed, <laughs> I had the redeemed for 144 license plate. Okay, so I'm just going to, I am i can't put the video up. I mean, I can't put it up on the screen or they'll, um, they'll block this video. So I'm just going to play it. That's Isaiah. In of heaven you made a way for all to enter in. Oh my goodness. This is a rapture song too. <laughs> when you start to look at songs and actually see from a rapture way of looking at things, it's unbelievable. I've heard him call my name. I've heard you call my name. I've heard a song of love that you sing. So I will let you draw me out beyond the shore. Excuse me. Love in wave after wave crashes over. Is over me, for you are for us, you are not against us. <laughs> okay, here's the part that I kept thinking of this morning. Oh, it's a long song. Crushes over me, crushes over me. Oh, 
Be strong and do not fear, for your God is coming to destroy your enemies. He is coming to save you. Thank you God he gave me that song this morning you make me brave over and over again and then I get to see what the lyrics are the other song that I had going was um, the cross still stands <laughs> I can't remember the rest of it it's by Johnson Ferry worship it's on this great um, CD which I think I did a playlist of always only Jesus um, Awaken, awake my soul, arise. Yes, we're going up. Always only Jesus. Let there be always only Jesus. The cross still stands. <laughs> Great song. I, I, don't, I don't, God, he just speaks to me in these little bits of lyrics. And then I go and spend the time looking at it. Burn It All. Burn It All is really what I was doing last night and continue. God is continuing to burn off the stuff that He does not want in my life and I'm sure He's doing the same thing in your life. Um, in Him I live. Come Lord Jesus. No one can steal your glory. Trinity, the vine, God of my journey. And I left off number six which was overwhelming. Um, cross still stands <laughs> Just, oh my goodness um once again i am finding that god when he when i go through low points he uses music to bring me back bring me to lift my soul to bring me up and um so i think that is something he's probably doing for you too and i think that's what he's trying to get me to encourage you by sharing what how he's lifting me up um, Isaiah 40 31 he lifts us up on wings of eagles um, I'm trying to get the cross still stands because it's a good song and I, I had it going for a good long time yep Cross Still Stands by uh, Johnson Ferry Worship. This was what was, you know, it's like there's a continual loop going in my mind of a song. And I want you to be encouraged through music too. He puts music in our hearts. Hard to find and I can't see you. Things of earth enslaved my heart, and broken things of earth enslaved my heart. The pain on end and shadows often linger. Hopes to happiness are torn apart. My hopes of happiness are torn apart. Cross still stands, and your love endures forever. Sorrow I'll remember, the cross still stands. Cross still stands in triumph over darkness, the joy in the morning. Cross still stands. Oh, the pain of the night comes joy in the morning. Sinking in my shame and my regret When I want to run and hide I feel you reaching Thank you God Love you seek me out I won't forget The cross still stands 
Up there for a second, you two. Fall still stands and triumph over darkness. Everything reminds us the cross still stands. Guilt, there is no sin to make him bear the cross again. He was enough, our victory. The five are one at Calvary. There is no gift, there is no sin to make him bear the cross again. It was enough, our victory. Forever one at Calvary. There is no sin to make him bear the cross again. It was enough, our victory. We never won at Calvary. Don't let Satan get you. He wants to put this on you, but you have victory in Jesus. He owns you. He bought you with the price of his precious blood at Calvary. Forever won at Calvary. And your love endures forever. In sorrow I'll remember the cross still stands. You know, um, that is a great song to, you know, we've kind of gotten our eye off of um, what we are leaving behind. You know, we got all excited about our left behind letters and then God told me to have you add Psalm 51 to them. Um, and in this time where we've been waiting and waiting and waiting, <laughs> uh, we've sort of gotten off of, um, off of that focus but this is a song that is a really good song to leave behind because the cross is what purchased our salvation our that we are going to be saved that we are going to be rescued why we have been different from the world why we um, have stood for Jesus through the mocking and the scoffing um, and that we're on that that ark to be rescued because not because of what we did but because of what Jesus did on the cross and there's you know what there's I got crosses on either side and um, what a horrible day horrible day that was but Satan thought he had the victory and he didn't and just like he'll try to get us to have a pity party that oh Jesus hasn't come for you yet and oh you thought it was gonna happen then and it didn't happen and and, and oh, um, you know, I've got all my things going on. I've got my Halloween celebration, and I've got my Antifa, and I've got my um, screaming helplessly at the sky and all of that. <laughs> but, no, we have the victory. As Steve Ciccolante said, if you took the number of days since Jesus ascended, into heaven we've only got one day that is going to be the, the rapture day right but have we been courageous to say he is coming and warning warning he is coming um, don't be left behind we have been courageous not not because of us but because of who he is inside of us let's keep fighting the good fight let's run the race let's Stay strong, be encouraged, have no fear, be brave, all of these things. He's shouting out the messages. He is shouting them out. I need to listen to them myself, even though I'm trying to be a mouth that just delivers his messages to the body. And if you don't know him and you're wondering, what are all these crazy Christians still thinking about the rapture for? Could it be that maybe we're right that, that the day of the rapture is at hand? It's about to happen. Your relatives who have been crazy Christians, passionate, on fire, 
trying to get everybody saved before they leave, they're still, they are still staying true to Jesus. Why is that? Why is that? Because they're crazy like Noah. We're crazy like Noah. We're crazy for Christ. We're crazy Christians. But I'd rather be crazy than many of, be of the world. And I invite you, if you're watching this, and you see in me or in these songs or uh, in the Christian relatives that you have that are not um, just going through the motions of being a Christian, they are really, they're not lukewarm, they're passionate, they're on fire, they are looking forward to the wedding and and it's like you can't understand them you can't understand them why not why not say if you can't beat them I'm gonna join them why not say I'm gonna finally listen to what they've been trying to tell me about I'm going to ask God if he is the God of Jesus and to have him reveal Jesus to me He's been revealing Jesus to you through the Jesus followers. We're not, you know, 80, in America, I think 80% of people say they're Christians. They are not. So look at the people who are crazy for Christ. Those are the true Christians. Those are the ones who are Christ followers. As Kirk Cameron put it, they are Bible believing. They believe that every word of the Bible is true and that it's God's word. It's not where we can pick and choose which verses make us feel good. It's the verse, it's the entire Bible and a lot of, you know, a lot of people will say, I don't need the Bible because, um, you know, I, I'm good with God and I can pray and feel good. Well, the Bible is him telling us, he's giving us the warnings. He gives us the warnings of who goes to heaven, who goes to hell. He gives us the warnings of, um, what displeases him and if he's our father and we truly are are that we know him and we love him he says we will obey his commands and jesus says only those who obey the will of my father will enter heaven well if we're not reading the bible how can we obey him we can pray to him all day long and we can say we love him but love is proven by obedience and obedience is learned by knowing what God has to say. So we're Bible believing. We believe the Bible is true. We believe that it's been preserved. We believe that the Bible speaks to each individual. That's the whole reason for the Reformation. Which, by the way, I, I, I keep remembering this. You know, Halloween is the 500th anniversary of the Re Reformation. And 500 in Strong's. I'm not, I'm not talking to the unbelievers right now. Um, 500 in Strong's is Antichrist. So now I'm going to talk to unbelievers. We're warning you. When we leave, the Antichrist is coming on this world. And it's going to be horrible. It's going to be hell on earth. But still, that's not as bad as actual hell. So pay attention to what people have written, people have done in videos. Um, pay attention so that you can be saved in the tribulation. And then be with us um, when Jesus returns in his physical, you know, on the Mount of Olives, his feet actually touching down to earth um, to reign for a thousand years. We want you there with us. Uh, so we're Bible believing. We are um, Christ following. We don't just say we're Christians. We actually follow what Jesus has to say. And we're thankful that he told us. He wrote us these love letters 66 by uh, 66 books in the bible that are all love letters to us to tell us how much he loves us and what he wants from us to love him back he made it free will that we could love him back um let's see what else did he say so bible believing christ following gospel preaching gospel is the good news the bad news is that you we all have sinned we all are sinners we are born into sin you, a child is born into sin um the children will be leaving in the rapture but that is by god's grace that they're not held accountable and i saw a video where you know i think i had said that what i had seen is between ages and 13 and 20 are the two possibilities 
there were a lot more in this lady's video there were a lot more um, evidences of 20 and under being or 20 being the age of accountability um, of course we don't know these things right we don't know and um, okay so Bible sorry Bible believing gospel preaching Christ following um, Oh, well, he had two more. Oh, that's another thing. On November 1st, there's a replay in the theaters of Revive Us 2. I was really blessed by it. So if you have the opportunity, if we're still here, um, that would be a thing to go to see on November 1st. Um, Revive Us 2. All right, I'm going. Bye. I love you. I, you know, I hope you get some songs in your heart. I hope... Uh, that you will not have fear, that you will be brave. And I hope that if you don't know Jesus, that you will surrender to him and, and tell him you want to be a crazy Christian. Even at the last minute, he can do it. All he, all he wants is for you to submit and surrender to him. God bless you. Bye-bye.